we were going through a season where we were talking a lot about the love of God and just how it, much better than we could even imagine it was. And there just wasn't a song that really talked about it. That was kind of like in my heart anyway. And we were, um, you're going to have to pay royalties for this if you use it on the video, but we were playing the... Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> is this on? So we were in, we were playing. Um, this is the air I breathe. I, I'm desperate for you. And we got to the end. And we're just vamping on that. And now one of the things that I do at my church and that we do a lot live is we just vamp at the end of songs. Just uh, give space for God to do his thing. And you know, Scripture talks about God inhabiting the praises of his people. Yeah, we're having some church up in Sweetwater. <laughs> sweet church. Sweet, sweet church. church. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the word for praises there, the praises that he inhabits, they're spontaneous praises. That word means spontaneous praises. So I think there's something really special about giving a little space for a new song. And so we get to the end of that you know, I'm desperate for you, and we're just playing. I'm desperate for you. I'm lost without you. And we're just vamping on this, and I'm thinking about how desperate we are for God. And, and just, I think uh, the tsunami, it just hit Japan around the same time, about 10 years ago or something like that. It was a big deal. Maybe not Japan. It was a bad thing happened 10 years ago. <laughs> Horrible. It involved water. It was like a tidal wave crashing over me. So I'm just thinking about all that and about, you know, how do you reconcile, you know, bad things happening? And I just started singing, you make all things work together for my good. And we sang it and like for 30 minutes. We just sang that for 30 minutes. I don't know. I mean, God doesn't need to hear me repeat the words for 30 minutes. But there was this weird thing happening. The more I sang it, the more I believed it. I mean, it was straight from Scripture. It wasn't like I wrote it. I should probably put Paul in there as a co-write. But <laughs> There was something about singing. <laughs> there was something about singing it that, like, um, the more I sang Scripture, the more my heart started to believe it. Like, I knew it up here. I knew it was so, supposed to be true that God works it all for the good of those that love him. And, um, but there was something about just saying it over and over. It was like, oh, yeah, it's whatever season we're in right now, this isn't the end. This isn't it. You know, God can work it together for his good. So that went really good. So I decided I would sit down and write an actual song around it, which I hated. I just didn't like it. I didn't ever want to sing the song again. And then our stupid sound guy put it online. And, it, the, yeah, then these guys recorded it. <laughs> All because of MySpace. MySpace, yeah. Amazing.